Hello friends, uh, my name is Sharon Yari. In the 2015 uh, civil service examination, I secured uh, rank 7 in the All India level and uh, rank 1 in Tamil Nadu level. Uh, presently, I am posted as uh, assistant collector training in Coimbatore district and uh, here I am to interact with you. Uh, I remember during my result, uh, mm, Every one of us were uh, quite unsure when it is going to be released, uh, but the talks were on that it is going to be this week. On that day, it was quite unexpected because I was going to a temple with my mother and uh, when the results were out, it was actually my friends who had called me and uh, who told me that I secured rank 7. It was quite a pleasant surprise to be very honest. Uh, my mother was very excited, my parents were very happy, but surpri surprisingly, I was very calm. Uh, and I took it uh, with a very nice uh, smile. I think I, uh, this success truly goes to my parents as well as uh, to God who has given me this opportunity to pursue this career and has helped me perceive in this examination and secure the uh, rank 7. When every one of us have started the preparation, Labasna has always been a dream institution. Uh, it is an elite institution of administration and every one of us have always dreamt to be there. Uh, my parents and my husband had come to drop me there. They were stopped within the gates and once I entered it, that is as an epitome of talent because all those people who were considered to be creme del creme were there. So. It was quite an exciting feeling and I was ex I didn't I didn't know what to expect out of the training uh, but it was a very good uh, uh, very good feeling the Musuri the city itself gives you a very good feel it's a very pleasant place the buildings the picture picturesque places the people every everybody give you a feel of how the administration is expecting you to be as an aspirant and now as an officer. So, uh, it was a transcendental period and I had a very good time. As soon as we enter Labasna, the first three months of our training is called the foundation course where every uh, one of the services come together and it is like an unity of services. We get to know different people from different services. It is mostly like an extension of our college life. We get to explore the hobbies we like. We get to explore uh, and perform culturals, our hobbies, um, then sports. The infrastructure is uh, all time best. So we had a lot of time and a uh, lot of uh, opportunities to make, pe make friends with a lot of people who are from different background, culturally, traditionally intellectually so it was like a gala time uh, the best part of foundation course is every week uh, we were taken for a trek to make us physically fit and to adapt to the Missouri kind of uh, climate because not not every one of us have come from a hilly area and uh, we get to see a lot of performers coming from different places uh, performing for us and we also get to perform as performers so it was a good time culturally uh, then uh, sports wise as well as uh, physical fitness wise they give us a lot of exposure so the foundation course is a place where uh, we get to meet our best of our friends in the services after the foundation course uh, we start off with our uh, professional training every uh, every services uh, report to their respective academy and uh, the IAs report to the Labasna, the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration for our professional course. This gives us a precursor of what is expected out of us as an administrator once we land up in districts. India being a very, uh, not a very homogeneous uh, country, we don't have a homogeneous system. So we are introduced to heterogeneous systems in different states and how the administration works and how is the hierarchy and uh, what the bureaucracy really is and what is expected out of us. They teach us law, they teach us political administration, they teach us uh, uh, history. So they gave, a, a, gave us a good exposure of every uh, walk of life which is uh, which as an uh, administrator we are expected to perform in the district. The 
the professional training is called the phase it is broken down in two phases phase 1 and phase 2 phase in the phase when uh, we have the best part is where we are taken to bharat darshan that is the darshan of the whole country every one of us are able to uh, are given an opportunity to visit different places i had been to poonch we lived with the soldiers we spent our time with the soldiers we went to kar nikobar some of my friends had gone to guwahati and many of us have always been uh, exposed to uh, the best practices which is being uh, practiced across the country so it gives us a good amount of exposure to what is happening in the administrator administration and as administrators what is expected out of us um bharat darshan is where you get to see that uh, bharat continuum of your journey uh, you uh, visit different places from hilly station to beaches at the same time you get to see and meet different administrative setups so bharat darshan is where you have to put up with 25 people in a group travel together different places uh, for almost 50 days so it's good fun uh, after the phase win every one of us in the ias are posted as assistant collectors training and uh, that is to give us a feel of the district training in the field level presently i am posted as assistant collector coimbatore uh in the in the um, setup of admin, um, our academy we tend to learn very heterogeneous laws uh, what applies to the district is what we get to learn after coming here we directly report to the collector on the behalf of collector uh, we get to see the different departments how they work their hierarchy their functions so uh, this gives us a feel of what uh, happens in reality and what we have studied in text in text and how as a administrator we will be able to bridge the gap and give the best so it gives us an opportunity to learn on the field and off the field as well i think uh, the best part of being in the service is getting to have so much of responsibility and when we have lot of responsibility many of us tend to lose the child in us i think the best thing anybody could hold on to is the childhood feeling and the child in us so never let it go and uh, in the district training besides our uh, strenuous schedule whatever be the work i think we should be able to uh, give certain amount of time for our hobbies our uh, extra curricular activities which actually can shape us into a wholesome personality so i think uh, or uh, giving time for our family as well as l- our work is definitely uh, demanded of us because we belong to both the worlds so professionally and personally uh, we should be able to enrich us and given the uh, constraints of time i think we should be able to balance both that will give the best of outputs in my opinion my takeaways for aspirants as well as people who are considering civil services if you have made this decision to come into civil services there is definitely some kind of motivation which has given uh, gone behind it uh, definitely keep it high and uh, the most important of all is being willful being determined and uh, perceive and achieve what you want to so this examination i think in my personal opinion has shaped me into a personality which i would like to look into and be proud of because uh, st- starting from getting up early in the morning having healthy habits being mentally and physically fit or uh, being able to pull up after a failure and perceive our dreams uh, being determined to get what one wills to get uh, being able to rely on family for helping us achieve what we want to the intrinsic motivation which keeps our passion burning for achieving what we uh, felt wa- uh, is the need to achieve i think all of this is very important for this examination and uh, this examination preparation itself is a journey from you being a crude clay into being shaped into a person whom you will be proud of in the future so i think every one of us should have should feel and take uh, pride in coming into this preparation and shaping ourselves into a personality which we would be proud of when i started my journey for civil services uh, i came to smart leaders 
to be very honest as college goer even i didn't know what to do so they were able to give me a structure what i have to follow for this services uh, shivraj vel sir arkatum sadik sir arkatum both of them have been always a guiding uh, pillar and shivraj vel sir especially since he was my mentor for my optional sociology also i had personally met him quite many times and he was able to refine my writing styles for my optional and uh, the kind of delivery which he gives in class the kind of knowledge he possesses the kind of poise he has in delivering any kind of uh, subject that itself shows the kind of passion which he has for teaching so i think i personally am indebted to uh, both of them as well as smart leaders um, and i am very happy to be part of uh, this journey and uh, i'm pretty sure uh, till smart leaders is there i'll always be associated with them and uh, i'm quite happy to be here thank you